Hi. This is in um, a cheap Pakistani um, Illin pipe chanter, Blackwood chanter. I bought it off eBay, uh, but when I bought it, I ordered it from them without the keys. It normally comes with keys, three keys. And I asked them to not drill the tone holes. Okay, so basically what I got was the chanter with, with the bore done. Okay, which is good, but no tone holes. Normally these, these are played um, on the knee and they're tuned that way. And I did not want to play it on the knee. I wanted to play it open. Uh, more like a recorder, a regular oboe, a gentleman's oboe, they call it a musette. So I did that. And then once I got it, I drilled the holes, figured out where I thought they should be in the size. I uh, drilled the holes. I played around with it. Um, using it as a practice chanter for like an ill and practice chanter. Um, but I've been using synthetic reeds. What I decided to do just yesterday, uh, out of a lark, is I decided to replace the synthetic reed with a, um, a regular oboe reed. Just a standard Jones medium oboe reed right off the shelf. 15 bucks, local music store. What I had to do though, is I had to cut back the cork um, and wrap some tape around it so that it would fit inside the well uh, of the chanter. Because the whole idea of, of doing it this is I wanted to see if my tone holes were correct. And the easiest way to do that is to, is to play it as an oboe and see if, if the scale is correct. And I'll be able to tell then, even though I'm not an oboe player, uh, how much correction I have to do with my pressure and my lips in order to get get it to play. I wanted to see if, if my finger holes were correct. So I put it in and this is what I got. but that's pretty good. I mean, I get very, very close to two octaves out of this with a standard reed. Now, the only thing is this reed, being an oboe reed, it really should be wider for this bore. And the way it's set up now, it's it's in about 20 millimeters or so into the, the thing, is that it is one full step sharp. So when I think of a G, it comes out as an A. But the scale is good. The second octave is good. Now I have to play around with this a little more. I think maybe I'll get another one and uh, reposition the holes. I'd like to actually try another reed. Uh, but the lovely thing about this is this is an off the shelf reed. Simple, done, 15 bucks. Don't do anything except cut the cork back and plug it in. I've got a gentleman's oboe, what they call a gentleman's oboe or pastoral oboe or a musette, whatever you call it. And I'm going to have some fun trying to learn how to play it. But so far, this cost me less than $100 in parts. <laughs> Can't beat that.